everybody. I just got back from grocery shopping. I did a bit of a grocery haul. Um, today is October 1st, Friday, October 1st, although you may be seeing this on another day. I know, there's a lot of meat up here, isn't there, Teddy? Um, so I start, <sighs> Teddy, shh, here, have a treat. So I started off today um, planning to go to Costco. Um, I went to visit my mom, drove into the Costco parking lot, and it was like the day before Christmas there. I mean, it, every spot was filled and every row had multiple cars with their, um, their flashers on because they were waiting to get someone's spot who was unloading their groceries. So I did, a, I did a circuit of the parking lot. The whole place was like that. So I said, oh, I'm just gonna go over to the Superstore, which is about a half a mile away from there. And uh, it's uh, the real Canadian Superstore. Um, and, and I got lots of stuff. And uh, then I made a stop at, at Everything Keto in Langley. So I'll tell you about them in a moment. Um, but first I wanna go through my grocery haul. Sorry about all the little doggy noises, but Teddy's pretty excited about what I got. So coffee on sale for $9.99. Butter on sale for $3.99. So I got two of those. I got, uh, I got some heavy cream. And uh, you guys pointed out to me the other day, oh, this one doesn't have it. I know, that's what I think too. This one does not have carrageenan in, in it. Okay, we won't even talk about it then. Uh, Borsin cheese, this is really nice in omelets. Really like this stuff. It was on sale as well at the Superstore. I wanted to get a couple of Costco packages of egg whites for the protein sparing recipes I'm going to do. I had to settle for this. Um, so, but it's still lots of egg whites and I still have a full one in the fridge. So that should be plenty. I got a inside round, <laughs> I got an inside round roast for 30% off. So I saved $10 on, on this one. I will sous vide this one, medium rare. That should be epic and awesome. I found chicken breasts with the skin on, which is not easy to do these days. Everywhere you look. Boneless, skinless, boneless, skinless. These are, do they have bones? I don't think they have bones, but they are, they do have skin. So what I like to do is take the skin off and roast it and you get these, I roast it with that um, tahini. I think it's called tahini seasoning. It's really good. You get chips that are so good. One of my favorites, boneless rib fingers. I've only ever seen it at the superstore. So had to pick that up while I was there. They had bacon for $3.97 on sale. So I got two of those. I got two ground chicken. I already have ground turkey in the freezer still. They have lean ground lamb. So I got some of that. I'm gonna make the feta burgers that I love with the Greek seasoning and feta cheese and lamb. So I'll do that sometime coming up. Extra lean ground beef was on sale for $3.99 a pound today. Usually it's like $5.99 a pound. So that, I mean, that's cheaper than regular ground beef. So that was good. The other thing is, now that I'm using my sous vide again, I decided I was going to do a turkey breast since my chicken breast turned out so good. So I bought a small turkey breast. I'm going to sous vide it. And while I'm at it, I bought two turkey thighs and I'm going to do the same. They have skin. So this will be for protein sparing, this will not. And I have, one of my favorite types of chicken is chicken tenders. I like to make the strips and do it in my air fryer. They are really good. A couple of limes and a lemon for, uh, the limes are for my coconut curry soup and the lemon is for the salmon. Those are things I already have, they're in the freezer. Then I stopped at Everything Keto. If you guys 
are in my area and you don't know about everything keto, it's a little store at the corner of 88th and 216th in Langley, um, in Walnut Grove. So they, I mean, okay, here's my, here's my naughty purchase. Um, peanut butter chocolate covered ice cream bars, dark chocolate caramel peanut. I will have to keep these in the downstairs garage freezer so that I don't see them every time I open the freezer because that will be for keto days on a, like a once in a while treat. I also got some more, they sell the Simply Delish. I got some more, I've got pudding and I've got, uh, pudding and pudding, I've got two puddings. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. And they have these things called Flavor All now. So these, they come in, they have 60 different flavors apparently, and they order in, you know, the more popular ones. Um, so today I got Strawberry Splash, Awesome Apple. I'm gonna think of something to do with Awesome Apple. Orange, and Lively Lemon. So what these are is Stevia Liquid. They cost, I think they were $9.99. The Stevia flavored drops, I believe are $17.99 when I get them from Amazon. So these are cheaper than, than Amazon. They are zero calories, all natural, non-GMO, alcohol free, gluten free, diabetic friendly, uh, natural lemon flavor. Let me see, it's so small. <laughs> Stevia extract is the first ingredient. Actually, it might be the only ingredient. I don't know. Okay, I need, I, I need to do something about my glasses because I cannot read labels anymore. Four to six drops is a, is a serving, I guess. Anyways, I, I had bought one the other day and I tried it out and it was really good. So these were ones that I had ordered. Um, so yeah, I'm, you know, watch for those coming up. So I believe they are available on Amazon if you don't live near my Everything Keto store. Oh, lastly, I got uh, organic creamed coconut, unsweetened. The only ingredient is organic coconut. And what you do is you uh, water this down with some hot water and, to make it whatever thickness you need. I'm going to be making Janet Greta's coconut cream pie. So uh, I, I thought that was a good start. I can't remember what else I need for that pie, but um, I knew I needed coconut cream. <laughs> so I picked those up while I was there. So that's, that's what I got. But um, the other thing I wanted to share with you is that because today is October 1st, well, I don't know what day it'll be when you see this, but I started working on a calendar for myself because I don't, I generally just kind of go into the month and I go like last, last month, I didn't really have a plan, but the month before I had a plan, I did Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I had, uh, we're protein sparing modified fast days. The other days were basically ketovore. So, and, and that worked out pretty well, except for by the end of August, I was starting to really wear thin with the tracking and, and the, you know, the food choices and all that stuff. Like it, it, I, I started feeling like it was triggering my food obsession a little bit. And you know, when you're somebody who has been way up there and you've lost over 130 pounds, like I have, you have food issues, like, let's face it. So I don't wanna be triggering any of my old demons. And so I decided, okay, September, I'm going to continue eating lean proteins along with my favorite, you know, ribeye steaks and all those things but I'm not going to track my macros. So in September, I did that. It was pretty easy. I didn't struggle. I, I cut way back on the sweet things that I had been making. Um, just took a bite, froze the rest, that kind of thing. I've had a couple of faltering, you know, sure. But anyways, it way cut way, way back. 
I only lost two pounds, but I was kind of happy about that because it showed me, you know, that like this is like practicing for maintenance for me. Um, because at some point, I mean, I think I think I would like to lose another 40 pounds and then maintain that. So, you know, that like that's that's going to be the hard part. And so I didn't mind taking a month off, not taking a month off from keto, taking a month off from tracking. Like these are the foods that I eat. These are the foods that I make a part of my lifestyle. I may not eat all the right ingredients. I, I mean, I get comments all the time that this has that and that has that and, and all that other stuff. When I started a low carb, we had nothing. Like this was back in the practically the dinosaur age. There was no keto products. There was no allulose. There was no, you know, monk fruit. We had aspartame. <laughs> that was our sweet. We, we got to have sugar twin. We got to eat, you know, margarine. Like we didn't have everything that the keto people of today have. There was n what was gra there was no grass fed unless you happen to live on a farm. I mean, you just like there like there was nothing like this. And I'm not saying that you know, there's nothing wrong with choosing the best ingredients and when you know, when you know better, you do better. And I'm doing that, but I'm not I'm not sweating every single little ingredient. If I can get it without, I'll get it. But sometimes I can't. And and if you know, and and I and I do I do bits of dairy here. You know, I've had people message me, "Well, you're not supposed to do dairy on protein sparing." I do, and it's how I get through. And and it's okay. Like like you you do you, I'll do me. You know, it it it's all okay. Like. I don't think I don't think a little bit of dairy here or there is is going to harm me and I don't mind losing slower if it means I stay with the program. So that's kind of my take on it. And everybody has to do, you know, everybody has to find their own path. Teddy, hello Teddy. Are you trying to be in the movie? Would you like to be in the picture? Come here. Teddy, come here. Oh, yes, you just want to take a look. All right, take a look. Look at all this good stuff. Yes, I will share it with you, okay? I will, yes, I will. Yes, I will, except for those. Those are mine. Can't have those. So I'm gonna show the camera my, my plan for the month. I know there's a lot of blank spaces, but I'll explain those. So I'm going to do, today's Friday the 1st. I'm having a regular keto day. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, twice a week. I'm going to do protein sparing, modified fast, and I'm going to count my macros. Fridays, I'm going to do keto, because Fridays, you know, it's my day off. I'm, I, that's the day I do all a lot of experimental cooking. I wanna try different things. So Friday will be keto. These blank days are going to be probably carnivore. Like carnivore is what I do most often. I, I will have days where all I have is, is steak, might have some eggs, but that's kind of my happy spot is, is steak and eggs and hamburger and that kind of thing. Um, but now and then I like to have a little bit of variety. So here's my variety days, Friday. Protein sparing are my kind of strict counting my macros. I've, I'm allowing uh, Monday, October the 11th is going to be a keto day because it's Canadian Thanksgiving. And Halloween, which is Sunday the 31st, another keto day. And I'll probably make some treats. Now, because I'm going to, like I, I'm not going to try to kid myself and say, oh, I'll do protein sparing on Thanksgiving day. That is not going to happen. That is just not going to happen. So. I will, I will do keto on Thanksgiving Day and I will do keto on Halloween and that's how I'll make it through those two days. I will plan for keto things that I like to help me get through rather than trying to go away on the strict end and feeling like I'm deprived. You know, I guess I just know myself best and how, how I am with food. I am freaking weird with food. Everybody around me knows it. <laughs> so. And it's okay. They've all, you know, my whole family accepts me. 
they know it wouldn't be unusual for me to walk in to, which I will do, we'll be going to my son's probably for Thanksgiving. He always makes turkey with all the trimmings. I'll probably walk in there with all kinds of my own food. And they will go, oh yeah, that's okay. So here it is and um, I hope that some of you will will you know follow me along this month i will try to give updates um maybe at least once a week i'll give i'll give some kind of an update oh i'm so sorry about teddy teddy is just i came home with all my stuff i threw it here and i just started right in without you know kind of cuddling with him and i think he's feeling it so i'm gonna be right with you okay i'm gonna wrap up this video and um let me know I do have a question. So I obtained some some keto chow. I have a few packages. And what I want to know is if you had a package of pumpkin spice keto chow, which I do, what would you make with it? That's what I'm hoping that people will tell me. So let me know um, because I've got this one package and I'm like, oh, should I, should I do this or should I do that or should I do that? And it's never going to get used up because I can't decide what to do with it. So help me out for those of you who are keto chow people. And uh, I, wish they, I wish there was an easy way to get them in Canada. I was lucky enough to get some. And um, thank you um, to that person who got them for me. But yeah, if you um, if you have any ideas for me, I'm I'm all ears. I'm really excited to try that. I got to put these away before they melt and get all these proportioned up and uh, in the freezer and the fridge. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Just tell me when. Oh, Teddy has my line. He, he thinks it's a ball. Teddy, can I have my line? Can I have my line? Can I have my line? Here, I trade you. I trade you. You look like you're about to guard that thing. Yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Okay, sit. That's a good dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs>